That fight may happen in November. Along with the two welterweight fights we discussed earlier, there are a couple of good ones coming up next month. On September 9th, junior welterweight champion Aaron Pryor and Alexis Arguello meet in a rematch of their 1982 classic. Give me a, give me a, give me a drink, man, I mix. One that I mix. There's a hard right hand by Arguello, but Pryor does not take one step back. The question is whether Pryor fully harnesses his wild energy again, and whether the 31-year-old Arguello has enough left to implement a more cautious fight plan. On September 23rd, Michael Dokes defends his WBA heavyweight title against Jerry Coetzee after two controversial fights with Mike Weaver. Coetzee has destructive power in his right hand, but this is his third chance to hurt a champion with it, after John Tate and Mike Weaver. Coetzee just might do it this time, especially if Dokes goes down this easily. And the winners are, the winners will be, what about Aaron Pryor? Can he get up as high for this second fight as he did for the original? You know him so well. I don't think so, Larry, because the glitter and glamour affects every athlete, especially fighters, and Pryor was so relentless in the first encounter. I doubt that very seriously. Aguayo, can he modify his style, be a little bit more cautious about getting into exchanges and perhaps win at his age? Well, he can become smarter, his tactics, his technique. But depends, that's a question. Depends on what was taken out of Aguayo in the first encounter. What about the heavyweight fight? Michael Dokes has also been known to live in the fast lane. <laughs> Does that make him vulnerable to Coetzee? It makes everyone vulnerable, Larry. And weight would be a factor with Michael Dokes. If he's too heavy, it could affect his performance. As he was against Weaver. Ray, you've made a transition into the entertainment field. And right now, as Jimmy Jacobs shows us in this segment of You Must Be Kidding, you're following in a long and sometimes noble tradition. Thank you, Larry. There has been a total of 30 fighters who have won the heavyweight championship of the world. One of the most fascinating statistics about these very special 30 men is that 23 of them tried their hand at acting, either in the movies or on stage. Two of these greatest champions, Joe Lewis and Jack Dempsey, were among that large group that gave acting a try. Let's take a look. Besides, I prefer show business. Mm-hmm. Well, good night, all. Call again. Well, partner, it's all set. Tomorrow morning, I'll be down to your office and lay my dough on the line. And for you, young lady, I've got a hunch that you're going to be a knockout. And believe me, Irving, this palooka certainly ought to know a knockout when he sees one. Haven't seen you in a long time. I've been training most of them. How's Mary? Mary's gone. You love her, don't you, Joe? Mm-hmm. I might make the observation at this time that no heavyweight champion ever won an Academy Award. My most cherished memories of the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis, and the Manassa Mauler, Jack Dempsey, are these. In his 11-year reign as heavyweight champion, Joe Lewis defended the crown a record 25 times. His powerful combinations registered some of the most bone-crunching knockouts in boxing history. Jack Dempsey held the heavyweight title during the 20s, the golden era in sports. His glamorous status was responsible for boxing's first million dollar gate, and he will be remembered for his long, illustrious career. Two magnificent legends of the ring. Indeed, they were both great artists. Their magnificent art was demonstrated with their fists. Jimmy, I gave the nod in that remarkable act off to Jack Dempsey, but who would have won in the ring? That's a horrible question. <laughs> I take Lewis in his prime. Uh, forgive me, Jack. But there was a heavyweight who did win an Academy Award, and he was... Victor McLaughlin. How did you know that? I not only knew that, 
but I know that the first man to fight Jack Johnson after he won the heavyweight title was the same, Victor McLaughlin. My mind is cluttered with amazing things. <laughs> There's more boxing and showbiz in our ringside updates, as inspired by Sylvester Stallone.